Okay, so yeah, we're making a bunch of videos here today. So this is the next video in the trilogy. Well, I don't know. How trilogy. Many, I don't know how many trilogy. they're gonna be in the maybe, series. Maybe the quadrilogy. Though. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> um, there's an awesome looking orange juice machine right over there. Yeah, we're gonna go check that out. Freshly squeezed orange juice. Todd from the Ancient Flounder Channel. Make sure you go check it out. <laughs> Keep plugging his channel, but. If you haven't checked it out yet, you're gonna see a lot of videos of him traveling all around Japan for this past month or so. Um, so I think he probably wants to get some vitamin C. <laughs> so let's go check out this uh, orange juice vending machine. Let's go. Let's go. Feed me. Oh. Oh, it's pushing the oranges. Look, just put them, put some on, squeeze yeah. them. Then drop some. Look at that, squeeze, squeeze. Yeah. Is that the most efficient way of getting an orange juice? Probably not. Is it interesting? Yes, it is. Oh. Juicing, please wait. Yeah. Feed me oranges. What's happening downstairs, hmm? When the buzzer sounds, it's ready. A sealed cup will be waiting for you. Oh, is it ready? Yeah. Grab a straw. straw. Yep. Wait, is it ready? I would assume yeah. so. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's sealed. Yeah. Alright. All right. Got a nice little pointy end. And just jab it. Feed me orange. <laughs> Fresh 100% juice. Alright, let's taste it. Oh, that's very orange. Yeah. <laughs> that's it's just... It's 100% juice. Yeah, you know, it is. So. Is it cold and everything? Yes, it is. It's cold. Okay. I mean, it's literally just taking oranges, squeeze them, and drinking it. Yeah. And you got the pulp and how, all that. How much uh, do you get for 500? Yeah, like it's much? about maybe this two. deep. So maybe 200 milliliters or so. Okay. Is that one of the new clients, maybe? Maybe. Oh, oh. Okay, there we go. Finally. Go into the press. The precious juice enters the cup of gold. The cup's coming up from the bottom. It's free from the machinery. There we go. All right, cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Ooh. It's just like, yeah. it's like eating an orange, but you're drinking it. Duh. <laughs> this would be much better on, a, on like a summer day. Yeah, oh, but it's still really good. Yeah, I don't know delicious. when the last time I had 100% pure juice. I think it's I been did. a while. It's probably been like a month. <laughs> it was a little while. <laughs> it was really good. Mm. 500 yen? <laughs> yeah. still a little pricey for that, but like, still, it's, it's good quality, especially coming from a machine. Yes, yeah, came out of a machine. Mm -hmm. Cut and squeeze it. How much? 500 yen. Yeah. No, you got a lot. Yeah, grab it. Yeah. It's got a seal on top. Oh. There's your straws right there. Oh. Oh. It's a Hi. Bam. Fresh. Fresh. Fresh oranges. <laughs> oh, gee. All right, so that's the magical orange juice machine here at the uh, the mecca of vending machines in Sagamihara. If you're around here, I'll, I'll leave an address downstairs for anyone who's in Japan who wants to come here. It's easy enough to find. It's right next to the tire shop. But I'll put the address downstairs. Totally recommend coming to get some OJ here. What did you think, Aaron? 
Dude, it was, it was really good. Again, 500 yen? Yeah. Maybe not, but I mean... But I mean, yeah. How much would you pay for that many oranges, That's to be true. fair? That's true. Orange juice isn't cheap to begin with. What do you think? Really good. Uh, again, recommended? Recommended. Little little pricey, because I yep. feel like around here you could probably get oranges in yeah. some places really cheap, but I mean, the, the sheer convenience, convenience factor and the novelty, yeah, it's exactly. worth Exactly, for sure. And also, I feel healthy and like I did oh, yeah. something great by having this. <laughs> you got your vitamin C for the day. <laughs> exactly. So thanks for joining us here today. Uh, thanks to Aaron as well as no problem. to Todd. Like I said, I'll leave a link downstairs to his channel. Go check out his videos. He's traveling around Japan right now. And you're going to see a lot of cool content over there. So if you're new here, please subscribe. Don't forget to thumb up this video. Ring that dinner bell. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. So now that you've been here in Japan for a little while, um, I want to know what is your opinion on like fast foods here in Japan versus fast foods back home in, in the States because like when I first came here I always thought like KFC tasted a little bit different mm -hmm. McDonald's tastes a little bit different you know Taco Bell tastes a little bit different what do you think about it does it taste better worse you know and so on it is different like if you go to McDonald's the fries do taste different because I don't yeah. I don't know if they're using beef tallow still here Back home, they've switched, I think, completely to vegetable oil, vegetable shortening. So it is a different that taste. That is, yeah. Taco Bell Japan was one thing, because they have the Chick Star on the menu here still, but they haven't had it in the States for maybe five or six years. It's okay. different because they have chicken tenders on the menu here, which is what they use for the Chick Star, <laughs> so it's not the round piece of chicken they used to have. Um, I think the sauce was different. The mild sauce definitely tastes different it's way more mild here. it's it's more mild and it's a little bit more sweet too <laughs> yes um, and i don't know if it's because they don't make it here i think it's just the japanese palate yeah because like, um, the sauce itself it, it's manufactured in korea and the, the packs are different they're like very robust feeling packets for whatever and they give you one yeah which is not enough for like if you have a full <laughs> meal um I'm trying to think of other stuff that I've had that actually is back there. The coffee at McDonald's is better. Okay. But they've been touting that. Like, you see advertisements everywhere for the coffee. Yeah. Coffee is a big thing here. Um, at least for, like, McDonald's and stuff. Yeah. I would assume so back home as well. But I'm not a coffee drinker, so I don't really check oh, out yeah. that stuff too much. Coffee coffee's better here in general. Like, even... I've only had Starbucks once, and it was a, a soy latte. So Did you have the Sakura? Yes. Oh, yeah, the one, that? The, the one that you That's had. That's the one I suffered through. Yeah. The, the, the one where <laughs> you got told it was. Sorry, I don't want to like bury anybody. But, yeah, yeah. Like, there's no coffee. There's definitely coffee yeah. in it. It was good. All the crumbly, all the crumbly bits on top though yeah. still were there when I got to the bottom. Mm. So by the time I got to that, it was just sugar, uh, <laughs> and yeah, that was yeah. it. But. It was a nice uh, cap off for the night because I think I had been out with somebody and, and drinking and having food. So I was just like, okay. I need some caffeine. Uh, but like coffee in general, yeah, I've, I've been to a few cafes and you, I think it's the best place I've ever gotten coffee at because okay. I just know how to do it. And I'm a big coffee nut, so. I've well, I think the Japanese crazy. in general, they, when they want to open up a restaurant or something, they will go and study hardcore, yes. like what they want to do and then do that like to the best of their ability. They don't half-ass anything, sorry for the language, but they don't halfway go through anything. Like they're going 100% all the time. Mm -hmm. So I think mm -hmm. that's why, like when you get food here, it's just, it tastes amazing most of the time. The burgers, I know McDonald's is, I feel like that's really consistent. There's not a huge difference mm. in the way the burger patties taste. Like if you go to Most Burger or even Freshness, which I've, I know was touted as like being better, the burger patties are, the consistency is different. Yeah. I feel like it's it's not as firm or as, it's a little it, loose is the term I want to use and it sounds very strange. I don't. It, no, but it is. But, it's the way they make them in a lot of places yeah. here. Unless they're going for the truly American style, uh, they they mix so much stuff into the burger patties that yeah. it, it almost has this loose texture to Even it. Even Burger King was kind of that way, and the only thing I had was one of the small ones that just has a hash brown on like some barbecue sauce on it. Okay. Still pretty good though, and, and the set was 500 yen, so it's like you can't go wrong. With yeah, no, that's, a, that's a good price. Yeah. All right, well thank you very much. Thank you. It's good to know. Yeah.